Okay, pre-calculus, let's go through these three questions on your unit four um, first formative for circles and ellipses. Um, okay, so it says to identify the center and the radius of the circle. Well, the center is going to be at HK, and there is a, a minus sign in the formula. So if it's X minus H, and we have a X plus one, that's going to be a center at negative one. So the center is going to be at negative one and then positive one. So negative one, um, so it's not that one and it's not that one, right? Okay. Now this is the radius. This number is the radius squared. One way you can remember that is 14 squared is everyone remembers that 12 times 12 is 144. 13 times 13 is 169, and most people can remember that for obvious reasons. Then for 14 times 14, it's just those numbers switched, 196. And then most people can remember 15 times 15 is 225. If you can remember those, those are going to be super helpful um, in your future. Okay, so just remember that's the radius squared, so that is why the answer here is the last one. Number two, use the information to write the equation of the circle. Okay, now notice in the first one, we're given the center, well, we're given the equation, but we can immediately find the center and we can find the radius. Okay, they're not giving us, they're giving us the center, but they're not giving us the radius. So we're going to actually have to find that using Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to go ahead and plot the center just to show you. We've got, let me pause this. Okay, so you don't actually have to do this, but... Let me just show you. If I graph the center at, at negative 11, negative 13, and then I graph the other point, when you say a point's on the circle, that means it's on the circle. Okay, terrible circle, but you get the point. This is something you learned in geometry. It's just been a while. So the radius can be found, it's this distance here. Um, so you can just uh, take the x coordinates and subtract them and get the difference between the two. So the radius is 5. So now, we, all we need for the equation is the center and we need the radius is 5. So the radius squared should be 25. So it's x plus 11 squared. So the minuses are done. And then y plus 13 squared equals 5 times 5, 25. There we go. Takes a little bit of thought. It's kind of fun. All right, and the last one. Identify the center and the vertices. Okay, so the vertices are on the um, major axis. So if I, um, the center is clearly going to be at 8, 3, right? So let's go ahead and cross those two off. So now the major axis is, is going to be on the, um, is going to be the y axis. And it's going to be from the center, which is at, what was it, 8, 3? We're going to go up 13 and down 13 to get your vertices. So those points will be at 8 and then 3 plus 13 and then 8 and then 3 minus 13. So that makes them right here. And I think that is it. Peace out.